and spend, spend, spend. <laughs> You said you were having your wedding at Lake Brunner. I didn't realise you meant in Lake Brunner. I would like to thank all those for being here to share this special occasion. And by God, the West Coast is quite special, really, isn't it? <laughs> wedding on the West Coast. Like, brilliant. And I, I hope that probably in, well, maybe today, tomorrow, five years, ten years' time, you realise how hilarious it was that you decided to do this. Hey, Jamie, what's up? Although multi-sport and adventure has been a strong theme in our friendship, so too was our search to find our future husbands and runner. <laughs> With the only requirements being, they must be able to water ski and they must be able to drive a boat. Well, good news. We found one. <laughs> I first met Nicole over here in Brunner, actually, the same time that Ben met Nicole. Yes. I guess you could say that Nicole had options on the table. <laughs> Stunner Day and Brunner, and I was out on the lake for a paddleboard. Meanwhile, a nearby boat caught my eye with a few good looking lads aboard. Turns out, a fellow Brunner local, Mr. Blake Robinson, he had brought over some nice new friends to Brunner, and I could not wait to go and tell Nicole that we better hit up the pub that night to check out the new talent in town. I first met Ben coming up the stairs of our batch. I was impressed as he thrust his hand out and said, Hi, I'm Ben. I thought to myself, this is a polite young gentleman. Only to find 20 minutes later that there were beers in the fridge missing and there was a party happening in the spa room on the deck. Ben, never laugh at those choices my daughter makes. Remember, you were one of them. But to Rose and I, that choice she's made is first class. Fair to say that no one dreams of torrential rain on their wedding day, <laughs> but in reflection, I think it's the best thing ever. And it just shows Ben and I that we're surrounded by such incredible friends and family who will be with us no matter what, and it means that we get to dance in the rain. <laughs> Possible to put into words the love I feel for my daughter. Oh no! I hope you believe in yourself as much as I believe in you. I cannot promise to be here for the rest of your life, but I can promise to love you for the rest of mine. I am proud to be your father. Today I get to marry my best friend, my, my little athlete, Nicole. I promise to always support you in all your events, even if it involves a really early start carrying a kayak down a riverbed. I promise to, to not spend as much time working on the weekends, maybe, <laughs> and more time with you adventuring. You are such an incredible, smart and beautiful young woman and I can't believe I get to spend the rest of my life with you. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for us. I will always be your number one supporter. I love you. From the day I first met you at the Lake Brunner Pub, I knew you were someone I wanted to spend more time with. Little did I know that I was going to spend the rest of my life with you and I'm so excited about this. You encourage and support me in achieving my goals and dreams. You accept my craziness and my crazy ideas, but you also keep me grounded and balanced, particularly when I'm hangry and when I'm being a drama queen. You've taught me not to sweat small things and to take life as it comes. As my favourite Winnie the Pooh once said, any day spent with you is my favourite day, so today is my new favourite day. I love you, Ben. The cops are calling. I present for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Lysart, husband and wife. I mean, 
I usually say that I hate weddings. Now, when I say that, I don't actually mean it. I'm just pissed off that some lucky bastard hasn't found me. Slide into the DMs at Brody Jean Kane. It's fine. <laughs> Benny boy, Benny boy, Benny boy. What can I say? We've been through it all. From buying each other's rat's tails in the bathroom, to restorative justice meetings and community service. I was born to breathe the air and take a road that goes nowhere. I'm ready to live, ready to live, ready to live, ready to live. It was at the top of Mount Tekinga that Ben got down on one knee and proposed to Nicole. It's actually hidden by all the clouds because it's that big. A big thanks to Josh. Hi, I'm Josh. Who would have absolutely not gone on a long hike with them if it wasn't, he wasn't appointed the important job of taking photos and carrying the ring. Let's go! Because it was so tired, I um, forgot to take the photos. <laughs> but um, it was a pleasure being part of that moment. Um, yeah. Congratulations, Mr. and Mr. Lysa. Or maybe Lysit, or Lysike. But you will need to get used to spelling that name. When Nicole attempts to fit 100 things into every single day, Ben is right beside her, carrying the bags, driving the car, and being the biggest supporter and support crew in life. Nicole, thank you. Thank you for looking after my bro. Thank you for supporting him, guiding him, caring for him. I know it's not e easy sometimes with the stubborn prick. I said that I hate weddings, but they're really quite nice, aren't they? Just the next chapter in our amazing life. I'm so happy and proud to now be your wife.